reasons. Yeah, no more no <laughs> So, are you anything like this elephant? Are you shy <laughs> when you when? Because I feel a lot of performers are kind of shy, but then yes. they turn into something different when they're on stage. You are you are correct. I I am somewhere in the middle. I don't think I'm always shy, but I definitely have shy moments. And I, as as a kid, I was even more shy. So you know, playing Mina, I was able to go back in time and remember how nervous I was to get on stages and to sing. And I, I just, you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily knock over mics like Mina did, but um, but I was definitely nervous to get up and sing. So I could definitely relate to her. I, I can sing, but no, I get I get so nervous and I, I, I can do it. No, I mean, I would do it, but I, no, I just, no. So how do you push yourself to do that? I mean, for me, that's like the scariest thing I can ever imagine <laughs> is standing in yeah. front of so many people. How do you kind of get over that shyness or over that nervousness? I, you know, I think I learned to just get out there and sort of give myself a, a pep talk right before and be like, okay, hey, this is it. Like, you've always wanted to do this. And I think I, I tried to get back to just the simplicity of the music and block out everything else that's going on, all the business side of things and whatever drama is happening in, in life um, to sort of, you know, put that to the side and get on stage. And I just get to kind of forget all of that for a second and just get back to what I really love, which is, which is to sing. Ooh, you. If I had a voice like Mina's, I'd be a superstar by now. Do you have like a Sasha Fierce? <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't know. I might I might subconsciously have have one, but I, I was joking earlier that maybe maybe it'll be like my inner Mina comes out because she does finally overcome her fears. I didn't give away anything, but that's good. <laughs> so, but you've been a part of a competition yourself. You were mm -hmm. on American Idol. Yes, I was. How was that experience? Was that the first time that you actually performed in front of people that have been doing that before? No, that, that was one of, of many, many, many singing competitions since I was six years old. I've just been on stage and um, performing, and that was, I think, just another door that was closed, but you know, through that, more doors were opened, and I think that seems to be a theme in my life. Um, of just you know getting rejected, but then finding something good out of that and um, creating a path of my own. But being rejected like that, that must be like so heartbreaking because you was, get so yeah. much expectations. Yeah. So how do you kind of like still keep going when? Because then you think this is the, the chance of my life, and then right. it doesn't happen. Right. I, th I mean, but I think that's just it. Is is in the moment it feels like that, but but right after I had I had really good people around me including my family who I mean I have to give all the credit to them because they really came alongside me and were just reminding me this isn't it this there's more you know this is just the beginning and um, sure enough it, it was it, it gave me this fire um, to you know start putting stuff on YouTube and just kind of taking things into my own hands and um, just just doing it really and not I mean going back to the movies like not letting fear stop you from from doing the thing you love did you meet Sam, Simon Cowell after <laughs> afterwards <laughs> um I gosh I've, I've spoke to him a few times off camera but I haven't seen him since I haven't seen him since hopefully he's doing well <laughs> I hope he's gonna see this movie because then he sees what kind of star you actually yeah, are hope he likes but. it yeah <laughs> so is this the first time you've been acting it is, yeah. This is my, my first movie ever. Did you like it? I absolutely loved it. I, I've always wanted to do voice over acting or be some sort of character in a movie. Um, I never thought it would be as awesome as this movie <laughs> and just as awesome as this cast is and just surrounded by amazingly talented people. So um, I feel very, very lucky to be playing. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. And you got to sing Hallelujah, which is like, yes. it's the one song that always makes me cry. Oh. I was listening to it this morning and I was like, uh, it's such a beautiful song. Yeah. Cohen, yeah. Yes. Has passed. Yeah. Did you ever have the chance to meet him? I didn't, no. Um, 
I no, I didn't get a chance to meet him, but it it, it shocked us all because you know the movie was already done, um, so we knew the song was in it, of course, when he passed away. But I think it was just so surreal because it gave that scene and and that song just a whole nother life, really, and a, a whole a whole new meaning for me, at least personally. So um, yeah, it's just it's um, it's very sad, but. Um, I mean, he's. I hope that I did the song justice because it's such a beautiful song. I love it. You did. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Great Thank you. You too. Do you think you could sing like that in front of a real audience? I don't know, but I want to try. Good. Hi there. <laughs> Thanks for watching my interview. I hope you liked it. And if you did, there might be some other interviews you like on my channel. So please subscribe by clicking this button down here. And hopefully I'll see you again. Thanks again for watching, bye.